Hello boys and girls. Today I am going to tell you how Elijah went up into heaven in a fiery chariot. And what happened was that Elijah was a prophet and he was one of the main prophets ever from God. Matter of fact, one time he took on 400 Baal prophets and one. Now Baal prophets are, they were worshiping the idol Baal. And guess what? Elijah beat them all. And another time, Elijah went 40 days with nothing to eat because he was fed by some bread from some birds that God sent. He spoke and he prophesied to people. He spoke and prophesied to kings. This was the day now that Elijah was going to be taken up into heaven. And he had a friend by the name of Elisha. Sounds the same. Elijah was the one who was going to be taken up into heaven. Elisha was his friend and fellow prophet. And they're walking towards the Jordan River when a prophet comes up and says to them, guess what? Today, the Lord is going to take Elijah away from you. That's what he said to Elisha. And Elisha says, shh, be quiet. Don't tell anyone. And so they keep on walking and they get to another town as they're on their way to the Jordan River. And another prophet shows up. And he says to Elisha, did you know that Elijah is going to be taken away from you today? And Elisha says, shh, be quiet. Don't tell anyone. Well, finally they get to the Jordan River. And as they get to the Jordan River, Elijah knows that this is his last day as well. And he asks Elisha if there's anything that he would want before he, Elijah is taken away from him. And Elisha says, well, if if it's possible, could I have a double portion of your spirit? Meaning, can I be a prophet like you? Well, Elijah says that's, that's difficult to, to, for me to say. I can't give that to you. That's up for God alone. But if you see me taken up into heaven, it's yours. They get to the Jordan River and he takes off his mantle. Mantle is kind of like a cloak. And he puts it, and Elijah steps forward now, and he puts it on the Jordan River. And the Jordan River parts. And they walk across the Jordan River on dry ground. Kind of like if you ever hear the story of the crossing of the Red Sea. Well, they get to the other side, and guess what happens? All of a sudden, it's a sound like a whirlwind, and they actually see a whirlwind, and here comes a horse and a chariot from heaven. And I can put this fire here because it was a fiery horse and a fiery chariot. It's called the chariots of heaven and the, and the horses of heaven, sometimes called the steeds of heaven. And Elijah gets in. And when he gets in, it's like a whirlwind. He gets in and starts taking up. And he's taken up to heaven in a fiery whirlwind in a chariot of fire. And as he goes up to heaven, he lets go. And that's his mantle. And do you know where the mantle falls? Right on Elisha. That means that Elisha does have... A double portion of his spirit. He has the mantle of ministry, the mantle of being a prophet. So that's what happens. Elijah gets taken up to heaven. Now hold on for one second. We don't hear about Elijah for a long time because he's in heaven. But today in church, you know what we're celebrating? Something called the Transfiguration. That's when Jesus goes up on a mountaintop and Jesus 
He's shining with all of his glory. And as he's shining with all of his glory, that's his as the Son of God, who is there, but very, two very important people. One is Moses, and the other is Elijah. Elijah is there alive with Jesus. As Jesus is shining with the glory of heaven. As Jesus is shining with the glory that is his as the Son of God. Elijah is alive. You know what? That's the good news is that when we die, we find out today that Elijah goes to heaven. And he comes back and he's with Jesus. When we die, when those we love in Christ die, guess what? They're alive. They're alive like Elijah. We're not going to go up into heaven like in a chariot of fire like Elijah. That was something special for him. But we're just as alive. And we're just as, as with Christ as Elijah. And that is the good news of the day, that in Jesus we are alive.